of surgery. Why? Well, there are two reasons. Minimally invasive techniques and a revolutionary new imaging system now used during spine surgeries. Neosurgeon Dr. David Rothbart of Spine Teams Texas can explain. Good morning. Good morning, Shannon. Let's start off by first talking about what exactly is minimally invasive spine surgery. That's a great question, Shannon. You know that term gets tossed around quite mm -hmm. a bit these days. A lot of people come in and say, I had a minimally invasive procedure and it was done through an incision like that. That's not minimally invasive okay. spine surgery. We do that lap, like a laparoscopic procedure through tiny little incisions. The idea is get in, get out without the body really knowing you were there. Are you doing a lot of cutting on the back when you do that? No, the idea is we just separate the muscles and when we're done, the muscles fall back into their natural position, less pain, uh, faster recovery. Typically patients for getting a disc operation are out of the hospital in an hour. Now you talk about there that minimally invasive has been thrown around a lot. What are some of the new techniques and advances in this type of surgery? Well the latest is bringing a computer, an actual CT scanner ca okay. called an O-arm into the operating room. We take a scan of the patient. This generates a three-dimensional image of the spine. We can place our instruments on the patient's skin before we do anything and actually see inside the patient's body before we begin. Now, let's talk a little bit more. That You mentioned O-arm. Yes. Uh, how exactly does the O-arm imaging system in navigation technology work and benefit the patient? Right, so this has added a greater degree of safety than I ever imagined. I performed my first minimally invasive spine surgery in 1999, never imagined this would take place. Hmm. But basically what this can do is that we can see exactly where we need to be get in and be as precise as we need to be and then when we're done we're actually able to image again and be sure we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. Now what types of spine surgery patients benefit from this? I think you and I were talking and my husband has a little scar but that was years ago and things are constantly changing. Right, right. So the patients who would benefit from this particular technology are patients who have instability where one vertebrae or one segment of the spine is slipping out of place scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine, or somebody who may have had a large operation in the past and has distorted all the normal anatomy. So the norm, this is normal, what we're seeing? This would be normal, yes. Okay. Now, is this technology uh, found routinely in spine surgery operations, or is this something that's still being introduced? It, uh, absolutely. It's, it is a new technology, relatively new, and it is only found in centers really specializing in spine surgery and specifically minimally invasive surgery. Now, would you say that this type of technology lends itself to better outcomes for spine surgery patients? Well, the tool always is only as good as the person operating the tool. Uh -huh. However, in good experienced hands, this lends a level of safety and precision that we have never, ever had before in spine surgery. Okay, minimally invasive spine surgery. Right. All right, thank you so much, Dr. My pleasure. Now, if you suffer from back or neck pain, call Spine Team Texas today to schedule a full spine consultation. Now, Spine Team Texas has locations in South Lake, Rockwall, and in Arlington. You can give them a call at 888-512-3892 today, or you can visit SpineTeamTexas.com. Back over to you, Kim.